Jean McQuarrie grew up in Nodley Village, where Fraser Lake flows into the Nechaco River. She comes from a long line of strong traditional women who worked all their lives to keep their carrier nation traditions alive. This was her mother's house. This was the smokehouse where she smoked fish. Her grandmother and her mother were makers of birch bark baskets. They passed on the tradition and their love of birch bark to Nolene. It's durable, it's beautiful. Um, I love birch bark. <laughs> I, I grew up with it, it's, it's been with me my whole life. As a child, we went out in the bush with mom, we'd make a day of it, she'd say, we're going for a picnic. And uh, we had our picnic, but uh, we also pulled roots for <laughs> most of the days. Those roots were used to stitch together birch bark baskets, like this one, made by her grandmother. I couldn't even tell you how old this one is. She gave it to me when I was 15 years old. Across the street down this path was her grandmother's house. It was at her grand's that Nolene made her first basket at the age of eight. It was really rough and it, I remember it wasn't very good. It was my first basket, I was only a child, but uh, she encouraged me, she kept saying, she giggled a little bit and she said, in zoo, in zoo, she's telling me it's nice, it's nice. So she, she encouraged me and uh, I spent a lot of time with her as a little girl uh, making baskets and then um, after she passed away, I learned a lot from my mother. Her mother's berry basket is both a family heirloom and an inspiration. It was made by my grandmother for my mother um, when she was a young woman. And mom used that her whole life. I'd say it's at least 60 years old. Nolene honors the attention to detail passed down by her gran and her mom. I was always told unless a basket has etchings on it, it's not finished. Fancy work. Mom used to call it. And she's going to pass on that tradition. This is my granny's way, and I'm sure it was her mom's way. It was my mom's way, now it's my way. And my girl, my children, I'm going to teach them to, to finish baskets like this. The land around Nadle is a rich resource for basket makers. Just across the river is where Nolene harvests the birch bark and roots she uses. And she's passing on that knowledge to her daughter Chelsea as well. She knows how to pull birch bark. She knows what kind of straight willow to look for. She knows. I'm teaching her everything I know. I'm, I'm training her. She's in training. Nolene also teaches other people in the community who want to keep this once dying tradition alive. And this year, she decided to build a birch bark canoe, which she really just sees as a somewhat larger basket. She did it with the help of friends in the community and funding from the First People's Heritage, Language and Culture Council. This is only the second birch bark canoe built in the Carrier Nation in a century. The first was made by Nolene a few years ago. Making baskets my whole life, I just it was just something I think I just graduated up to it.